Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a delicious recipe for apple crunch. The best thing about this recipe is that it's easy enough to whip up for a weeknight dessert. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need some oats, and they can be the quick cooking or old fashioned. You're going to need some unsalted butter, flour, brown sugar, two large apples, granulated sugar, some more flour, lemon juice, and cinnamon. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the apples that I have peeled and diced into pretty small pieces. And we are going to add our tablespoon of flour, cinnamon, our lemon juice and our sugar. And we're just gonna give it a good stir. Okay, so my apple slices or dices, I guess I should say, are all combined and now I'm just gonna set them to the side. Okay, so now let's work on the crunch portion. I just poured in my oats, my flour and my brown sugar and I'm just gonna give this a stir. Okay, so I've got my dry ingredients all combined. Now what I'm doing is putting in my cold butter and I am going to use a pastry blender or you can use a couple of forks. You can even use your fingers and you're just gonna get in there and mix up the mixture until it's crumbly. Okay, so I have a 10 by seven pan here that I have greased with a little bit of butter. And what I'm doing is putting half of that crunch mixture right on the bottom, and then I'm just gonna press it out. And then I'm gonna put my apples right on top. And then I'm just sprinkling that remaining crunch mixture on top of the apples. Okay, so my apple crunch is ready for the oven. I am going to let this bake for 45 minutes to an hour or until that topping is nice and golden brown. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, so here is the apple crunch hot out of the oven. I am going to let this cool for a little bit and then I will plate it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I let the apple crunch cool down a little bit and I have some right here on the plate. You can see those chunks of apples and I am serving this with some vanilla ice cream. It'd also be great with some whipped topping, drizzle some caramel right on top. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. If you did, I have an entire playlist of easy desserts. If you enjoyed the recipe, recipe, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.